Good afternoon, folks. I really didn't want to do this. I wanted to do something else. Alas, as you know, I work for you. I work for the truth and for what's right. So, I guess here it goes. Meet Sarah. Sarah is very smart. Very smart. She's young, energetic, enthusiastic about space weather, and has a very bright future. She's currently a graduate student at Johns Hopkins, very prestigious, and she is a combined space weather forecaster and meteorologist, an epically wonderful combination. So I wanted to do a show with her on Twitter, which I would then post here on YouTube, to increase her reach and support the next generation. I sent her a DM on Twitter to try to set that up. That's my invitation there in blue. My comments will be in blue and hers are in the gray background. Now this is where things went very wrong. She starts off by calling me a fear monger and a conspiracy theorist, something I've ended careers over. But I was still hopeful for the youth, and so I decided to ask what she thought my conspiracy was, as you can see at the bottom. She replied by discussing my facade, implying that I'm a fake. But it turns out she does actually know a bit about my work, and she condemns the discussion about the, quote, weakening magnetic field of Earth. I've ended careers for less again. But again, I wanted to try and see what her problem with it was. So I decided to deliver some facts. How the May 2024 solar storm outmatched the Earth effects of the greatest solar storms on record, despite the solar activity that caused them being only a fraction of the power. I mentioned that there had never been a G4 storm like what happened this week with such a weak solar wind enhancement. I shared the quote from the mission manager of the ESA swarm that we had gone from losing 5% of the magnetic field per century to 5% per decade and mentioned the major article by Dr. Simonenko from earlier this year about the largest acceleration and magnetic anomaly in this excursion from March of 2023. I stated that both the data and the peer-reviewed papers supported my position, and I could bring the receipts, that she didn't need to be rude, and I asked how she was going to back up her accusations against someone who was just trying to be nice to her. Now folks, this is where a real scientist would deliver that backup, bring the data or the papers or the flaws in my logic, literally anything. As a scientist, you don't throw a stone and then not stand strong under scrutiny. But she decided to say she hadn't been rude at all, and then once again accused me of conspiracy and fear-mongering, and clearly implied I am not authentic or genuine. She then said she wasn't here to debate with me, and I said indeed she was rude and reminded her that I had brought up some very good points, backed up by data and scientific papers, and that they came from the experts who she should be respecting. I then explained that if she didn't want to debate, she should have either not responded at all or at least not started firing shots at me. I honest to God figured she's either going to block me or finally offer whatever evidence she had. Nope. She said she knows, quote, many people in the community who tried to provide me with proper information and that I haven't been responsive. She included some more rudeness and then she claimed that she was doing actual science and didn't have time for me. At this point, I'm getting a bit frustrated, but I calmly told her that indeed nobody had tried to give me anything like she claimed. I reminded her that I had provided legitimate claims based on data and scientific studies, and that those are not conspiracy. But also, that in fact, conspiracies had been coming true at a pretty high rate lately. Then, I took a shot back. You see, on her page, she had been hyping up her tiny following about the return of the great sunspot from May in a way that was causing them significant concern. It had clearly decayed on the far side in the SDO helioseismic data. Maybe it was an unnecessary jab for me, but she was literally a pot calling the kettle black situation with her accusations against me. I have no idea why I thought, okay, now she's finally going to come back with data or peer-reviewed science. Instead, she simply came back and said she didn't have it in her head and didn't want to take the time to do so. I got a bit snarky in my final response, but I included that I was dying to debunk myself. I try to do that every single day. It's simply that I fail to find any sign that it's wrong. I left the invitation open for her to come relieve me of my worries and yours, and that we would appreciate her expertise if she could provide it. Told her God bless and said good night. No response. Now, there is no need to go bother her on her page. 
just let her do her thing. You wouldn't want to mess up her indoctrination or teach her some manners. Besides, we've got real problems to deal with here, and apparently the teachers and their students aren't interested in diving into it. Just let her be. Please, and maybe even pray for her. Just also know, we are on our own. Subscribe here for daily updates, and I'll see you in the morning for the daily show. Be safe, everyone.